face is such an important part of our body that we all would like to have a good face. Obviously, nobody would like to have a deformed or a disfigured face. Keeping that in mind, uh, our speciality becomes so challenging that you know to restore it back to normalcy. Whenever somebody has had an unfortunate event of a trauma, makes it that much more challenging. Now, as you all know, uh, road traffic accidents is one segment, and assault can be another one, or people just falling off from any area can be one. Along with that, there is another thing which fortunately we are not very accustomed to seeing, and it's not very common in our country, is gunshot injuries. It does happen, it's not that it doesn't happen, but uh, the incidences are very less. The difficulty in treating a gunshot injury is that as a bullet enters into the body, it kind of shatters everything along its path. Depending on the type of bullet and the type of injury, you know, it can cause extensive damage. So I will be telling you about one of my patients. A severe kind of an injury where the bullet passes from the right side, shatters the upper jaw, enters the tongue, cuts the anterior portion of the tongue and breaks the jaw on the left side. Now, the jaws are very, very important for, you know, not only the shape, not only for aesthetic purposes, also for functional purposes. In the sense that, if you are to eat properly, this jaw is the most important thing. Now, what happens here is, this is a unique jaw where it has two joints. Unlike your other parts, where you have a single joint, you can move. Here, both the joints have to work in tandem. Now, if there is any disruption of one side of it, the jaw cannot function properly. So, this resulted in my patient not being able to chew any foods at all. One. Two, because the tongue was severe and it was stuck to the floor of the mouth, he couldn't speak for almost three weeks to a month, he couldn't speak at all. Now, you all can imagine what kind of a psychological drawback this would be. And you can't speak, you can't eat, you know, your normal life is destroyed, your jaw is disfigured. Our, our main focus was to get him back into shape. Now, the problem here was, he's an old man, he's also got diabetes, he's got hypertension, he's got a kidney problem. So with all these medical problems, we had to be very, very careful. We had to take ultra care in saying that it's just not that we do the surgery and get away, but also to make him functionally fit so that he can carry on his duties. Now, what we had to do was we had to open almost half of the face. Now, this is easier said than done because opening half of the face will eventually lead us to one very, very important and major structure in the body that is called as the facial nerve. Now, facial nerve is something which will scare any surgeon. Every surgeon will be very, very scared of tackling this facial nerve because this is the nerve which will give sensation and movement to the half side of the face because there are two facial nerves on the inside. Now, if we do a surgery, we end up cutting this nerve, the whole side will get paralyzed, and the whole point of doing the surgery is defeated. So, this is where the challenge lies, and more so in this patient because. Most of the anatomy is disturbed because the bullet has shattered the bone, shattered the muscles, destroyed all the structures there. We just couldn't, you know, get to the correct plane or get to the correct area where this nerve was situated. But we had to take some time, we did our best and we preserved the nerve. I'm happy for him, happy for me.